<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, glad you all made it in on this rainy, traffic-driven day. <laughs> and I uh, want to, well, I was just informed that um, Maisha, I'm sorry, I can't recall her last yes, name at the moment. Yeah. At the moment, is not here today, so we're going to ask Mrs. Mc, McBride, McBride yes, ma'am, uh, to call the roll for us, please. Okay. Laura Bellin, present. Landon Moore, present. Herman Covey, present. Mark Gardner, here. David Harrington, here. David Holly, here. Mark Munson, present. Solomon Ashby, Derek Challenger, here. Shannon Glover, Elizabeth Gooden, present, and Cheryl Spivey. Here. Okay. Well, thank All right. you. We have a full court today. And I appreciate everybody making the effort. I know it's not always easy to get away. Um, next on the agenda is uh, review and approval of the minutes. Uh, as usual, they were sent out soon after the, the meeting. So I'll entertain a motion to. Uh, approve or if there are questions I have I do have a question please yes uh, on page two of two under one two three four fifth paragraph down uh, where it says the uh, current contract between the city and John Hancock is due to expire July 2019 is that correct or is it that, that is, 2020 that is not correct and it's 2020. It's about a, a year from now, and I don't remember the exact month, but um, but no, it should be. It, it is 2020. 2020. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought I understood last last meeting. That yes. We were talking about. Yeah, is that uh, as I recall, the discussion was that if you would have gone by the previous contract, that's when it would have been, but the actual new contract wasn't put in place until a year later. Yeah, it's um. That's, that's um, your memory is correct. It, um, between the, the time that John Hancock submitted it and when it was officially approved, there was about a year difference. Right. And, um, and so the, the date on the contract is a, is a, it says it's a five, I think it says it's a five year contract, but the date doesn't coincide with that. But the interpretation has been that we set up a five year contract, it needs to be a five year contract. Do so you agree right. with that? Any other edits or comments? All right, then uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve that correction. Move for approval. Second. Second. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Now we're ready for our uh, activities and benefits report. Um, as far as, um, is that okay, I'm sorry. I need more coffee this morning. Um, for um, applications, um, we had an application pending for um, Robert um, Holly, a police officer. He's going to retire with 28 years of service. You can see his annual base pension down there at the bottom. We did not have any applications for the Portsmouth Supplemental Retirement System. Um, we had one, two, three. We had five reported deaths um, and beneficiaries. As of June 17, excuse me, June 7th of 2019, for active fire police retirement system members, we had 15, and for the Portsmouth Supplemental Retirement System, we also had 15. All right. Uh, we'll take uh, a minute just to go over the uh, old business, and then we'll have one adjustment to our uh, agenda. We'll go into closed session after those. All right. All right. So the historical funds flow report. The, um, the <coughs> month of April um, has the, um, the, the normal amount of um, benefits being paid out. And this is on page five. Um, the, the good news is that we had um, an, a realized gain of 4.3 million um, on in the investments and an unrealized gain of 1.6 million for the, for the month of April. So, um, so that was a good month, and um, that takes our balance. So our um, 
ending balance actually grew from two, um, yes, 209 million in the, at the end of March to, to 212 million at the end of April. Any questions? Taking a look at our OPEP statement, um, primarily looking at page eight. Um, you can see that we have um, the, the, co the cost value um, is it's $5 million in the market value. I mean, the cost value is slightly less than $5 million and the um, market value is slightly higher than $5 million, and that's in the OPEP trust fund. Any questions? There are, um, we have included um, a f you know, full set of statements, um, and I, I won't go through the, de the details of those, but if you have um, any questions, just let me know. Uh, thank you very much. I had a question. <clears throat> do you know what this, um, towards the bottom, the million due to brokers is liability, a liability? <clears throat> no, but I can, um, I if that's I'll, I'll check for you. Um, um, I, 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 I think I know, but let me, let, let me get back with, um, with the board with an email. Okay. That, does that work? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Challenger. Okay. Um, I move to go into closed meeting as allowed by Virginia Code 2.2-3711 and 2.2-3712A pursuant to the applicable exemption Virginia Code subsection 2.2-3711A8 for the purpose of consultation with legal counsel employed by a public body regarding specific legal matters requiring the provision of legal advice by such counsel and pursuant to Virginia Code subsection 2.2-3705.11 and 2.2-37A1 for discussion of personnel records containing information concerning identifiable individuals as it relates to eligibility for retirement benefits. Uh, is anyone willing to adopt my motion? I, I move that we still adopt. And second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 And closed session. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion's carried. So that, that concludes it. So I'm going to read the certification of our <coughs> closed meeting. I hereby move that each member certify that to the best of his or her knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from back. open meeting requirements under the Virginia just Freedom of Information like Act. Personal information only said public business matters as were identified in the motion exactly. by which the closed meeting was convened were heard, discussed, or considered in the closed meeting just concluded. Mm -hmm. I just like to have some paperwork because you gave a lot of yeah, yes. Yes. I don't want his information. Security, security number, everything. That's a very good point. Thank you. Deal with <laughs> All right, thank you. Um, now we'll move into new business, beginning with the uh, Virginia. Anyway, I think you're up, Ms. <laughs> right, and, um, and um, unless you want me to go through this, but this is just the, um, the report of the overall you know, trust fund, the Virginia <coughs> trust fund. This is this is their statement, their quarterly statement, um, and you know, much like our, um, just like much like Greystone does for <coughs> us each month, the um, the state's you know, portfolio. You know, they go through you know how how well the managers have done, or you know, against their indexes, and that's the information that's in this report. Do you do you? Uh, recall which which of the portfolios we're in. I can't remember because they have they have two. I think our statement. Is it on the statement? Okay. Page nineteen. Portfolio one is. 
you know, looking back at this at the city statement. Oh yeah, we're in one. We're in one. Yeah. That's all I have. Oh, did you all want time to look at it further? Are you any questions? I have none. Okay. All right. And then um, final new business: the Greenwich Associates Quality Leader, right. 2018. And that's um, just a a note um, from from the plan that um, you know they're pleased to congratulate the pooled <coughs> OPEP Trust Investment Consultant Asset um, Consulting Group on being one of six consultants named as a 2018 Greenwich Associates Quality Leader, and, um, and that press release is attached. All right, thank you, Ms. Bivey. Uh, one final note, um, we had the Davenport uh, review, we talked about that last month, and we're going to stay that discussion until the city bond review is complete. As uh, Davenport is very much involved in that, so once that complete, we'll revisit uh, the update. That's that's right. We uh, they they have been very busy with the city over the past couple of months working on a bond sale that actually happens at 10 o'clock today, and um, and and that will uh, will close in the next two weeks. Um, so um, so they they asked for an extra 30 days so they could spend you know the time that they felt like they needed. Um, to analyze where we are um, on uh, the suggestions they made a few years ago and, and where we are on those. All right. Are there any other agenda items? I have one item. I just, for the um, board, and uh, everyone wasn't here, however, um, Mr. Holly asked that um, just for purposes of, you know, we have a lot of retirees out there and, you know, as they're getting older, um, he expressed a desire for us to have some form of communication with them so that they could kind of get their affairs in order, you know, when they pass away, kind of contact information as to, you know, who their beneficiaries should contact when they um, when the retirees deceased. I share with Mr. Holly that in 2018, the Human Resource Management, we had a meeting for the public, excuse me, the Portsmouth Supplemental Retirement System, we had a meeting for them and um, I shared with him we would do the same thing. I spoke with um, former um, Chief Grover Holloman before the meeting started. He's going to reach out to the contact for the Portsmouth and um, Police Retirement, um, the president, and we're going to coordinate just a session. Only thing that we actually did was um, I secured the room, I brought staff, and we just kind of just went over what to expect, who to contact, who to call. You know, that's kind of a very sad time in someone's life, so we didn't want them to wonder who to reach out to. <coughs> and I shared with Mr. Holly that we would reach out to them however they wanted to. So I want to make sure the board understands, you know, if someone, if a beneficiary wants to come in and talk with us, we will talk with them. We're not going to, you know, force email or other forms of, you know, electronic communication. So I just want to make sure that the board was aware that we'd provide that service and just make sure that we were there to assist them during that time. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Taylor. Uh, just as an update, on the last week in June, I'll be attending <coughs> the National Association of Public Pension Attorneys Conference. So after that, to the extent that the board would like, I would be more than willing to give an update um, as to the information I obtained there. Um, the information tends to be helpful, and and I can do it similar to the, the little uh, educational uh, presentation I did before. So whenever you would like for me to do so, I'll be more than willing to do so. All right, thank you. Ms. McBride, if you leave a note for Maisha to include that in next month's agenda, I'd appreciate it. Okay. All right. If there are no other topics or questions and concerns, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. <coughs> Quick meeting today. Yeah. It landed. I'm not sure why there's that.